Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Corrupt Al 125 in this video. Tangy, Chili, Fusion, Flamin', Hot Cheetos review. All I can think about is the Fusion Dance. This is the new one that he uploaded today, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Today we're going to try Cheetos Flaming Hot Tangy Chili Fusion, which is a weird name because I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to expect from Tangy Chili Fusion. I guess a chili flavor with a tangy flavor being fused. I assume that's the idea. The wording of it is a little bit weird. I know they're going to be hot because they're under the Flaming Hot brand, which could be problematic for me personally um, because I generally have not a good tolerance for even regular Flaming Hot Cheetos. So this is going to go one of two ways. Either they're going to be too spicy for me and it's going to be kind of a difficult to review or maybe they're a little less spicy than regular Flaming Hot and they might be, you know, good. Because I think the best Cheetos flavor for me personally is the cheddar jalapeno. Um, and I don't even really like jalapeno taste. And again, I'm not a spicy person, but the cheddar jalapeno just hits it right, right on the level where it's spicy, but it's got good taste and good flavor and it's not too spicy. That's the perfect level for me, honestly. It's not really that spicy, but it's got a good taste, good flavor, good tang, good zing, all that good stuff. So I'm really not sure what to expect from this. And there's also no really any writing on here. It's just on the back, it's just the information and stuff. It's not like a description of what this is supposed to be. So I really have no idea. And then, of course, the ingredients list never helps you because usually it's a bunch of, you know, generic, like, names of chemicals and stuff. But maybe this will help. We, we do have, let's get down to the actual seasoning. Salt, citric acid, sugar, garlic powder, chili peppers, onion powder, red bell pepper, Artificial color, 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 tomato powder, whey, paprika, jalapeno pepper, malic acid, sour cream, and disodium guan, guanolots. So there is some spicy things in here. There is some red peppers and chilies and stuff. But also sour cream, which is interesting. Maybe that'll cut the heat down. It's also like the last ingredient, which means there's not much in there. If you didn't know this um, on your ingredients list, they go from the most amount to the least amount. So the first ingredient on here is enriched cornmeal. Well, that's because that's everything in here. So the, the thing that this is the most of in the package is going to be the first ingredient that goes down. So there's the least amount of sour cream, most amount of cornmeal. That's a tip for you if you didn't know. Give them a... Oh, no. Yeah, I think this is... I think we're going to the uh, spice zone in terms of these might be too much for me. They smell like spice, um, and not like flaming hot spice, but like real spice. So this could be problematic. Uh, that's what they look. They look just like flaming hot Cheetos. They really don't have much of a much of a color difference, but the smell difference is scary. You smell this bag; it smells like spices. It smells like this is gonna hurt me. So you know, let's just get it over with. Or you know, maybe we'll go with an open mind. Maybe it's just a, it's just a, throwing me off, and these will be perfectly fine. But here we go. Let's try Tangy Chili Fusion. Uh, what you have here is a bit of a grower, um, even though I knew they'd be hot based on the smell. We have a grower here in that the first few chips weren't that bad. Like, I could tell they were hot, but they weren't, like, that hot. It was, it was okay, and I got the taste, which I will describe in a second, but... As it goes, it builds, and it's really starting to burn my mouth a little bit right now. Um, not that, not like, let me put it on a scale. It's definitely above Hot Cheetos, but probably under extra Flaming Hot Cheetos. Because, you know, there's regular Flaming Hot Cheetos, and there's extra Flaming Hot Cheetos. These are probably in the middle somewhere. They're spicy, but they're not like, you know, on fire spicy. My mouth is burning a little bit, but it's not too bad. But it is uncomfortable for me to the point where I probably won't eat any more of these. Um, but I do get the taste as well, which I also do not like. Um, the taste of these, I guess it makes sense. Tangy chili is a pretty apt description, but I would almost say, like the review I did of the sweet and tangy barbecue Doritos a couple days ago, um, they're more like that. They should, this should be labeled sweet tangy chili because they're, mm, they're very, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit of hiccups. They're very, um, 
sweet when you eat them. Like the, that's the overwhelming taste I got. Like the first one I bit into, I was like, why is this so sweet? And then it goes straight into a pepper taste, kind of like a, like a jalapeno red pepper taste. It tastes very much like fresh peppers, which may be something I'm sure a lot of people really like that. I don't really like the taste of a fresh jalapeno. Um, it's not my style. I'm not into you know, any kind of real pepper taste. I don't really like, I like bell peppers okay, but not really that much. I don't like peppers on my pizzas or on my Philly cheesesteaks or anything like that. And that's what this has. The I guess you might call them chilies, but I would say peppers. It, it has a fresh pepper taste, like a fresh sweet pepper taste with the heat building on the back. Again, not too bad of a heat, but I, I, it doesn't even really matter to me because I don't like the taste of these. Even though it's it's interesting that they managed to make the chip taste like a fresh pepper, um, that they replicated that taste. Because it really does feel like somebody just cut a pepper and like de-seeded it and you take a bite of like a jalapeno or a red pepper just you know without the seeds so it's hot but not too hot that's kind of what these capture i'm not really sure what the fusion is necessarily maybe it's the sweetness that's combined with the heat is what the fusion goes for i just think tangy chili fusion is a bit of a weird name i would probably go with i don't know um because i would probably put sweet in there somewhere like sweet chili like tangy sweet chili would be good i don't know what the, the fusion really doesn't need to be there if these were called flaming hot sweet chili or sweet tangy chili i think that would be a more appropriate description of what they actually are because there's a lot of sweetness in the in the initial bite the flavor is sweet with heat on the back which i know a lot of people like but it's the heat is a little bit too high to be comfortable for me but it's not really that bad if you're an average if you're a person who enjoys like flaming hot cheetos on a regular basis these won't be a problem for you i don't think and maybe worth a shot if the idea of sweet pepper flavor you know is nice to you but it's really not for me um so i gotta go with a two i'm gonna give these a two out of five i don't think it's gonna find that much of an audience maybe i'm wrong um but i really think that this is just kind of a weird throwaway product in a way that just seems like it's coming from out of nowhere and not something anything really anybody asked for i think the people who like hot cheetos like hot cheetos or they or they like the flaming hot with the lime lime or they like the extra hot cheetos i really don't think they need another flaming hot variety i guess i should give them props for putting out something that is different but not in a good way so two out of five for these tangy chili fusion cheetos flaming hot cheetos check them out maybe if you can handle the spice level but just know that you're going to get a sweet taste and not really tangy necessarily so that's our cheetos review and i will see you all next time awesome video i give it a thumbs up and i hope you all enjoyed this reaction video if you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or corrupt al 125's channel make sure you guys subscribe give both our videos a thumbs up hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post and share both of our videos with your friends and family members too please everybody and on my main channel we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers and on my second channel we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers and please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel and give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too please everybody i would really appreciate it and please help me accomplish my goal to get 7,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 2,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too please everybody i would really appreciate that too and please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish... I already said that. Sorry about that everybody. My bad. Lost my train of thought there for a minute. Sorry everyone. My bad. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also please everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.